What do drumsticks and trauma have in common? Probably more than you think. You see, the purpose of a drumstick is to keep rhythm. We use them in music to keep rhythm because when your rhythm is consistent, the song sounds smooth. And when the drummer loses their beat, the song is all thrown off. And when your body loses its rhythm, that's when we see people become dysregulated. Rhythm has been an important part of development since day one. When we were developing inside of our mothers, we could hear the rhythm of her heartbeat. We know that when babies are born, the best way to comfort them is to give them a little rhythmic tap or a little bounce. And many times when we encounter someone who's overstimulated, you might see them do a gentle rock to try to get themselves back in rhythm. A great strategy for helping a child who might seem like they are dysregulated and need some calming strategies is to teach them the hand to heart movement. While they're worked up, you can simply ask them to take their hand to their heart and create a tapping movement and rhythm while they're speaking. If they're too worked up to do that themselves and you have their permission, you can also create a rhythm for them in the palm of their hand and ask them to take some deep breaths that go along with that rhythm. So any sort of rhythmic movement can help settle that nervous system and calm that brainstem, which is actually the first place that trauma hits. In my calm corner, you'll find a drumstick and a drum pad for my mildly dysregulated students because we would never give a drumstick to a student who can't regulate themselves at all.